Hey, what's going on everyone? We're Ginger Marvin, and we've been working all morning in the office, putting stuff away, folding stuff. Listing stuff. Listing stuff. We got bored. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided after lunch, we were gonna go thrifting. I've got the GoPro. We're gonna see <laughs> if we could find some good stuff before we gotta go pick up the kids from school. So let's, let's go in.
All right, guys, we just finished up. I, I don't know if you could tell, but it's it's raining now. It's so. actually really cold. I was trying to look at the weather. <laughs> the weather has only, completely changed on it's us. It's 44, which is... That seems cold, but it's actually usually yeah. warm, but this feels really cold. With right the now. wetness. <laughs> it is about 3.20, which means we have to go pick up our boys from school. And yeah, I, we, we don't really have time to show you guys. And it's raining, so we're going to take you guys <laughs> back to the office and show you guys what we picked up. I don't know, not a whole bunch of good stuff, right? I mean, yeah, okay stuff, we didn't but no big bangers today. No big bangers. <laughs> yes. And we ended up putting a lot back at the end just because. Yeah. Also, my GoPro died about I don't know when, so I don't know how much footage we got but uh, hopefully you guys saw a little bit of us sourcing and shopping and all that fun stuff so let's head back pick up the boys we got to drop stuff off at the post office and then we'll see you guys at the office all right guys we're back out of the rain kids are downstairs <laughs> playing on their iPad before we go to taekwondo so we do have some things that we <laughs> picked up just at the store this morning yeah we still haven't really seen the footage you know yeah this may or may not have showed up on it but uh yeah what we did grab was some so this is a brand i know costs a lot but i've never really sold it myself it's stuart weitzman um comps are all over the place when you search on ebay i feel like this is a newer style i definitely wouldn't be picking up some of their older stuff but mm. these were only priced at 5.99 so i figured it was a good time to take a chance if any i think these will sell upwards of 50 but i'm not positive i tried to look up a comp i google lens them they told me they were called a certain model i searched up that model on ebay and nothing came up so mm. anyways i'm not sure exactly on those uh, these we grabbed because they were half off, so they were priced at 15 We got them for $7.50. They're just some Cabela's Nice Men's Mules. Really good shape. Look at those treads. Yeah. So nice. These are also a men's size 14, so a good size. The insoles are kind of gross, but I popped those out and washed them in the washing machine. So, yeah, we'll spray those down with some OxyClean. But otherwise, the outside of the shoe looks great. I think these will sell for probably close to 40 I didn't look up comps, so I'll try to, we'll try to pop some up on the screen, yeah. I think. I uh, got some Crocs, <laughs> some Mary Janes. These were $8, should sell for 25 to 30 or so. I don't think we ended up getting those pink, those pink ones, right? No, purple ones. yeah, if you saw in the footage, there was some purple. Those would have sold. Those would have sold in a day, but they were like an older pair. So these on the bottoms will say like men's seven, women's nine. Yeah, that wasn't such an older pair that like it only said twelve. The logo looked way different too. Yeah, and um, they looked very large, which was leading me to think they were a men's, men's 12, twelve, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But we we just weren't sure, so I didn't right. want to grab them and list them as a men's twelve. They end up being women's. Yeah. Goodwill didn't have any other size women's 12 I could really compare to. Mm -hmm. Our feet are not women's 12 or whatever. So yeah. we left them, which is sad because those would have been probably $30 overnight kind of a sale. But but we weren't sure. And that's, yeah. you know, we're trying it's to... Better than keeping it in a death yeah. pile. So. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff that we tend to put off and put off. Yep. And then it's <laughs> like, why? why? <laughs> <Right>. So <laughs> we figured we'll just We got move some on. other Crocs. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these are also Crocs. These are very dirty, but these I'll throw in the washing machine. They should clean up fairly nicely. Treads are good. They should sell 20 to 25 per ship very quickly. And then these Timberlands are like a boat shoe loafer. Been kind of flattened, so when I photograph these, I'll probably stick some paper in them. Mm -hmm. We do have shoe trees, but like... They're not really adjustable, so they only fit good in some shoes and usually mm -hmm. never men's shoes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my trick is just putting paper towels or paper, whatever some you Some packing got. paper, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes a sock, whatever you literally just have around. So anyways, a really nice leather boat shoe for Timberland. Soles are a little dirty, but otherwise good shape. These were priced at 17, but yellow was the half off, not half off, 30% um, off, off color. So these came out to about 11.90. Yeah. I think they'll sell for 35 to 40 plus ship, so not too bad. And I think the rest is floating. Um, if you're new here, I love, love to sell men's like shorts, swim trunks, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So that's kind of the racks we were checking out today, at least I was. Me and Chris kind of split up, so you might not see me in a lot yeah. of the footage at first, but um, yeah. 
So these are Billabong men's size 33, just a nice board short. I usually get anywhere from 20 to 25 plus shipping on pre-owned stuff like this. These are Oakley size 33 also, yeah. Also size 33. It's hmm. a cool pattern. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that's the size. I didn't realize that these had the tag cut out, but then like, oh. it says 33 right there. Let's see. <laughs> these okay. might have to go back if, because that's like, just like the shoes. We don't want to list something without the size. Right. These definitely seem like exactly the same though, so. I'm gonna guess that that 33 right there on the waist is the size, but yeah. somebody cut out the material tag, so. We do also measure all yeah. of our clothing, so. Um, it's just when you have the tag there, it makes it easier, right? right? Yeah. Uh, this was a new to me brand, so the only reason I grabbed it was because, well, I saw it said, well, first I was scrolling through them. When you touch nice fabrics, you can just feel that. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh, that feels nice. Then I saw it said bamboo. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Never heard of the brand Task, T-A-S-C. I don't know how you say that, but. Task, maybe? Yeah. Anyway, so I looked it up. And the comps were not like super high or anything. I feel like these will sell for 18 to 20 or so a piece plus shipping and they were priced at five each. But the sell through rate, meaning how many listed on, on eBay versus how many sold was over 100%. So I think there was like 200 something listed, 200 something sold, but that number was higher. So yeah. these should sell, I would say in the first 30 days and for whatever. I probably yeah. 18 to 20 bucks I definitely about, within the next 90 days right yeah for sure 90 days so i kind of just wanted to try them in case if they sell fast if i find them again that's worth me picking up even yeah. for a lower profit if it's gonna i'll pick up anything that'll sell overnight just like those crocs i was like yeah it would have only made me like a 15 dollars profit but it would have sold so fast yeah if you could turn it over that fast but they are different colors they're the same size though so i was thinking of maybe putting them together that could make it quicker mm -hmm. as long as they're under like a pound still which i think they probably are let's see nope yeah they are together 14.6 ounces so we could still ship them first class as a pair that would be around six dollars so okay yeah, I think so about $10 into probably 35 to 40. Hopefully very quick. Set, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Mikey, please. If not, they're just a pair of Reebok, like a CrossFit athletic short. Um, yeah, probably would sell 25 or so plus shipping on those. Yeah. And this has a nice, um, I believe it's men's. It was in the men's section. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's men's. It's a large, so, so I'm it is. I don't think a women's large would be this large. Um, but it's it's not wool. It's like Pima cotton, but it's it's just a really nice weight yeah. and soft sweater. And it's in good shape. Yeah. And you said it had like the button bag on the inside, yeah, right? Yeah, it still has that. So doesn't look like I mean, it's been washed through a washing might have, machine. Might have, but maybe. yeah, it's, that's still there. So it's always nice to have an extra button. Yeah. So yeah, I think I didn't look up comps. This was only priced at five ninety nine. I know. You just, I just know what <laughs> the way you said comps. Comps. You sound like you were from New York. New York. <laughs> like I didn't look up comps. I didn't look up any comps. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Sorry. There's nothing wrong if I was from New York. No, no, it's just it, <laughs> it surprised me. It just surprised me. My family is from New York. Yeah. Originally. Your so New York maybe is coming I have out. It in my, anyways. Um, She's yeah. never lived in New York, but I've never lived there. <laughs> Just my family moved to California before I was born from there. Um, anyhow, yeah. I knew it could sell for at least 30. So it was $5.99. I didn't even look up comps. I figure, I, I think it'll go for over 30, but minimum 30 on that. And this is cool, but it's very kind of grody. Yeah. So we're going to soak it, see what we can do. But even with the stains and all the ickiness yeah, of look it, at, look at the, yeah. We're, it should still sell. So it's a Harvard kind of, so like in general right now, college crew necks seem to be doing really well, mm -hmm. um, especially vintage. Most of the ones I've sold really fast are Champion branded or Jansport, which this is Jansport. It's a Jansport. Um, but yeah, like there's, it probably doesn't show on camera as much. There's some faint stains on the front here. Yeah, you can kind of see right but there. But there's some really bad stains like the here. Cuffs. Yeah, the sleeves are. And they're like frayed. Although we've sold a Colorado College one with worse fraying and everything. Yeah. And it sold in like a day and that was Jansport. And that sold for like 20, I want to say five-ish. Mm -hmm. Pretty much overnight from when I listed it. So, and this is. Being that this is Harvard, it's just like a cool. Yeah, and it's like an embroidered, so yeah. it's it's 
Yeah, I think that's going to do good. Yeah, so we'll soak that into MoxiClean, get it cleaned up, hopefully not ruin it anymore. <laughs> and even if, as long as I clean it, even if the stains don't come out, I think at the very least 30. Yeah, oh, I didn't more. even notice it had the Jan Sport on the cuff right. there. That's cool. I think that's why the Champion yeah. ones sell good, because they have the C. So, anyhow, just in general, look out for, like, college crewnecks even. Yeah. Even if it's some random college you've never heard of, it's probably going to sell, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's The more vintage, found. the better, right? <laughs> yeah. So nothing amazing, obviously, but, you know, we were in there. I think we were in there longer than we would normally be for this yeah. amount of stuff, but we are being pickier. It was kind of our first time trying to go out and record, so yeah. probably not the best. We're going to get <laughs> yeah. better at it for sure. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed watching us go out and source, yeah. we're gonna try. the more we do it, the better we're going to get, right? So and we don't <laughs> always find something great, you know? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Yeah. I don't know if this showed up in the footage. There was a pair of Red Wing boots there, which would have been like a home run had they not been priced at like $89 or yeah, something. Yeah, they wanted a so. ridiculous price. Which, you know, we, <laughs> we've been through this. Uh, Goodwill can price stuff whatever they want. Yeah. I am positive I can go back there in two weeks and get those at least a half off because nobody's yeah. going to buy them even for the half off. I mean, I'd buy them for the half off because we did look up comps and they were selling anywhere from like 150 to 250 mm -hmm. 250 So... I'd pay 40 to sell for that. I wouldn't yeah. pay 80 to sell for that. Because it wasn't like a sure thing. The comps were like kind of all over the place. Right, right, right. Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not really a wet sale because we already took our shipping for today. But I did, a few sales did come in while we were there. I figured we'd just pull them. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just I'll just ship them out tomorrow. First one's already right here because well, I had to kind of box them to make sure. They fit and what the weight was all together, but I showed this on my Instagram story uh, that I picked these up. Well, Chris picked them up. I found them on Facebook. Someone posted on a local page, so like a porch pickup. Mm -hmm. um, they only wanted $5. At first, I thought we were only getting one, and then she said she had four of them plus a bag of treats that's the same brand mm -hmm. as this. And I was like, $5 for all? And she said, yeah, $5 for all. So I was like, okay. I was going to get just one because mm -hmm. I looked up and saw that they were selling for, one of these is selling for $40 about on mm -hmm. eBay. Um, so I was going to, they live pretty close to us. Yeah. So I was like, Not five bad into deal. 40. Five into 40. That's great. Um, I saw that the sell through rate, there was seven listed when I looked up, 75 sold. So I knew they were going to sell pretty Quick, much yeah. right away, um, which they did. I listed these this morning, I think. And I already sold three of the four to one buyer. Yeah. So total she bought them for was one hundred nineteen eighty five plus shipping. So I turned so far five dollars into one nineteen eighty five, over a hundred dollars profit even after the fee, the eBay fee. Um, and I still have one more left that should sell around forty plus the treats will probably sell for ten to fifteen. So that yeah. was a really good porch pickup. Definitely look up any sealed even if you're at a thrift mm -hmm. or a garage sale, whatever. Mm -hmm. Any kind of sealed pet stuff, I always check out. Yeah. Because um, we've done good with some pet stuff. Pet we should stuff. also point out that it's not expired, right? Right. Like, so I thought it was at first. I was like, dang it. Yeah. I get I was willing to take a chance for five bucks. Mm -hmm. But I was manufactured like, no, date. it's yeah. expired. But that's a manufactured date, not an expiration. And when we looked it up, it said it's good for at least 18 months after that it says to use it within 18 months although some people on ebay said use within two years so either way there's still at least probably five or six months that it's not expired for right. sure which in my, it doesn't really matter right like as long as we're not listing expired material ebay can't really do anything the buyer's aware with like we stated what the date was right well we didn't but <laughs> we i mean i showed took this. a picture of it right, right. so and I think everyone that uses this knows. Right. And like each one of these, I think it's so 30 scoops. I think you give your dog a scoop with their food each day. Yeah, it's just yeah, like a depending nutrient. Depending on the size of your dog, up to two scoops if they're like a really big dog. So this is probably like a 30 day supply. So the person buying this is probably going to use these all within three months. And they probably know that they're yeah. going to use it. So, anyways. That was a super great that sale. That was a great <laughs> sale. And we still have one left and those dog, the dog treats didn't do as good, right? There was no conflict at all, really. Yeah. Well, I will say, I saw one cat treat where the buyer or seller sold two packs for like 20 plus shipping. I think I priced mine at 15 plus shipping knowing mm -hmm. we'll run sales and stuff. So I expect probably around a $10 profit off of it. Yeah. And this after fees, because um, when this one sells by itself, it'll ship first class. So around... Four to five dollars for shipping, 
all profit at that point, whatever, after eBay fees. So probably around $30 profit off of that. So, so nice flip. $140 in profit all. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I've just picked it up on the way home from yeah, dropping the, the kids she, off. She was also like selling some Uggs, which were they needed some cleaning, and I didn't want to deal with it. But they were only five dollars. I'm like, we should have just got those too. <laughs> so yeah, that could have been like a almost two hundred dollar just right. one, one pickup. So yeah, keep an eye on your local pages. I don't. We have one in our like neighborhood area. That's the kind of one that this was on. Um, I'm on some others, but like I really have to think in my head, is it worth me driving there to yeah. look for, how much am I gonna make? Like this, I probably would've drove, if I knew it was four of them, I would drive across town and I'd make myself also yeah. a thrift or something, but. If it wasn't like a first come, first right. serve if kind of like situation. If it's like a $20 profit, I'm not gonna drive even like more than two or three miles. Mm -hmm. so. Anyways, sold some Prana shorts <laughs> for men. Uh, picked these up for two fifty, sold for twenty nine ninety five plus shipping. Nice. Yeah, those are going first class mail. Just gonna put them in a poly mailer. And lastly, D O. Closet. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Got the ultra. These are men's, but also kind of like youth. They're like a men's five, which youth and men's are like the same size, so. Anyhow, sold for $31.96 plus ship. I had an average cost of goods of $10.97 into those ones. So. Yeah, these two were over about a $20 profit plus that. So that just those three were really good. I think the whole day that we dropped off before this, I only profited like $100 on about 10 <laughs> sales. So yeah, that's reselling in a nutshell. Yeah, and again, yeah, like Kathy said, we, we've already dropped off today's... Yeah shipment i guess on the way home from picking up the kids and stuff yeah we did the stuff this morning got a bunch of listings up i did some video editing and yeah so what are we on wednesday i think i've listed around 50 items so far this week which is good i'm like that's on track yeah. where i want to be yeah um chris hangs up this friends on wednesday night so once the kids go to bed i'm probably gonna photograph some more shoes yeah, yeah. That's going to be it for today, right? <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed seeing us shop a little bit around Goodwill today. We're going to be doing a lot more of that kind of stuff coming up. So, hopefully, you guys are excited about that. And, I, you know, we, we said we're not going to be doing what solds anymore. But, you know, I think this is, this is fine. Just kind of showing a couple things that we uh, sold here and there. We're, we're definitely going to be doing that throughout our content um, from here here on out we're not going to give up what sold stuff completely but the issue we were running into is just feeling like we have to be here at a specific time every day so that we can do that so we'll do it when it makes sense if that makes sense <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching thanks for the support today we do appreciate that and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye